Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Sony Komi. If you guys missed the last episode, you guys can click on the eye in the top of the video to watch the previous episode to get caught up. So, we had a photo shoot in the last episode and wow, I picked the right outfit and got an SS rank. That was so awesome, oh my gosh. And now someone called Arakin. Hey, it's been a while. What's up? Who is it? Um, I'm gonna assume this is that uh, blank face lady. It's been forever, Gramps. Don't call me Gramps. Oh, okay. How have you been, Gramps? Don't call me Gramps. Call me Sir. No way, you're definitely a Gramps. Who's calling? I can't call you daddy. That'd be dirty. Wow. I'm, I'm surprised that I guessed uh, correctly what gender it is. I think. Well, I can't deny that. Man, you're as annoying as ever. So, what's this about anyway? Well, I actually stopped by your office today. What? Why didn't you say something? Ah, too loud, my ear. Something fun was going on, so I didn't want to spoil the surprise. What? What surprise? What's her name again? Sonico? That girl is lovely. She's like a diamond in the rough. And that kid of yours seems to have potential. But he's still got a ways to go yet. Oh, it is the girl! I was right! All right! Knew it, because it, it was the only other question mark um, name that appeared. Oh, right. I, kn I knew that's why I went with the girl voice. You don't want to ruin that diamond with a bad cut, right? I don't know. Di diamonds, they're, they're kind of worthless. Well, I mean, I mean, after you buy it is what I mean. Like, it's not really worth anything when you buy it and you're like, I, I need a, oh, can I, can I, uh, I don't, I don't want this. Can I, you know, they'd be like, yeah, I would take it a, a dollar. Like, what? A dollar? I don't know. I'm just making stuff up now. So I'll be stopping by every once in a while to see how things are going later. Hmm. Who's this girl? What? Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, I told you not so loud. Jeez. This is Donut Dio, okay? Hmm. Oh, but keep it a secret from those two. I'll get mad if you tell them. Even you won't get off the hook, Gramps. I don't even know what I do. Um, I'm a little concerned. Anyway, see ya. Wait, you selfish little. Hey! Who was that? Who's that girl? The one that gave me all that advice before. Whoa! What's this? New costume piece unlocked. The skirt from Sonico's high school uniform. This is what she wore year round. Oh, okay. Taylor uniform. Summer. Sonico's summer uniform from high school. It brings back nostalgic memories of hot days. <laughs> hot days. Taylor uniform winter. Sonico's winter uniform from high school. It brings back nostalgic memories of cold days. <laughs> Wait, do you guys remember these? Huh. Do you guys remember that? I don't know. But I'm going to save my game now. All right, right. I saved my game. What's that noise? Get out. Mm -hmm. uh, I awaken from a dreamless sleep. I slept pretty well last night. Actually, um, everyone dreams. Um, every night. You just don't remember. But I don't feel super alert. It's like my brain's not fully awake yet. Yeah, that happens to me. I'm just like, get up now. And then just make my body get up. I zone out. Hmm. Wait! I finally stop my annoying alarm clock. I'm tired in a really weird way. Why is that? I'm probably worn out from everything that happened yesterday. Wow, I guess it really took the energy out of you. It's pretty normal for my mentor to be crazy. 
Are you sure it's normal? Yesterday was crazier than usual. I totter out of bed, thinking about that wild day. Looking around the room like usual, my eyes stop on the cork board. Okay, why? What's on there? <gasps> There's an unfamiliar picture there. I find myself drawn to it. How is it unfamiliar? You took it. Upon realizing what it is, I snap, fully awake. Why are you using that picture? I would have assumed that he would use the bikini picture. That's right. I became Sonico's personal cameraman. Honestly, it doesn't feel real yet. If someone told me it was just a nasty prank my mentor was playing on me, I'd be inclined to believe them. Oh, uh, I guess right there. <laughs> when he puts his mind to it, his pranks are second to none. But the picture in front of me has such presence that it blows away all my doubts. Hmm. Ain't photographs great? Okay. <laughs> I give my cheeks a light slap to focus my mind. Why are you slapping your face? You can just put some water on your face. Here I go. Let's see how our photo shoot goes today. Oh, we're in episode one. Not that there's anything to do. I sit down at my chair in the office and start sorting through the documents I put aside the other day. It's been a few days since the shoot. Sonico's just a novice. It's not like she has work every day. Hey, we'll change that. So my life hasn't really changed all that much. However, I'm wildly passionate right now thinking about her. Hmm, what am I supposed to do with all this enthusiasm? I don't know. Write a letter to her. Write a love letter. Just say, and just ask her if you will marry her. Wait, that didn't sound right. Oh, great god of photography. I lift my arms in fervent prayer. Of course, you could always so just call it stretching. <laughs> ah, great prayer. I roll my shoulders and neck, making strange noises. Ah, I'm loosening up. As I squint my eyes in pleasure, they happen upon a certain Gravier magazine. I thought, I thought... <laughs> Sonico's just gonna come in and like, what's one of those weird noises? Yes, I'll take a break and check it out. It might be a good reference for future work. Without leaving my chair, I extend my arms and retrieve the magazine with the finesse of a synchronized swimmer. That, that would mean there would be someone else there with you. Oh, it's the latest issue. Nice. Let's see. Hmm, I wonder if uh, Sonico's gonna be on there. Sexy variety, beautiful women of the night, new announcer in her Sunday best. Underground idol shining bright, we dive deep into the hottest scene. All American ringers killing the competition, who's next? The bust that shook Japan, Romeo Gucci's so searing shots. I stop on this final headline. Romeo Gucci, who's that? Suddenly my heart is racing. I check the index and flip to the article. Very nice. The subject is a weather lady who recently made a name for herself as a Gravier motto. She's the proud owner of some splendid rocket boobs. Rocket boobs? Did they shoot off somewhere? Which have earned her the name Squid Cup. Squid Cup? I, I don't know if that's a, that's a compliment or I don't know. With a black bikini on, they really do look like squids covered in ink. Oh, oh, okay, I, I get it now. The concept is good, and the photographer obviously has good technique too. According to his credit, this photographer is only a little older than me. Hmm, who is that? Hmm, am I really cut out for this job? Hey, hey, don't, don't question yourself now. I find myself staring off into the distance. One of the pictures my mentor approved is stuck to the opposite wall. Sonico, huh? I wonder what kind of jobs she'll get. And I wonder how I'll handle them. Probably the bikini wear. What kind of image do I want to give her anyway? Probably the uh, hot sexy kind, huh? 
What kind of situation would suit her best? The beach! Whoa. Cute and ditzy? Cute and innocent? Bold and sexy? You're bold and sexy. Wait, what's pure and innocent? I don't know, let's go bold and sexy. It might be good to give her a bold direction. Now, put this on. Did you draw this? <laughs> did she? Did he draw this? Okay. You want me to eat whipped cream? Whoa, she's gonna eat some whipped cream. Uh, I put the bowl over. Oh my! Hmm, that's a little out there. Man, I think I'm gonna go crazy. Are you? I think you already did. But I don't think it was that bad, actually. Maybe I should propose it to Sonico next time I see her. Which is now. Ah, it's, it's a girl. She's back. What's up? You've got a perverted look on your face. Hmm, well, I was just thinking about what kind of pictures I wanted to take of Sonico. Uh, maybe I should look at the person now. Oh, so you were thinking about something pretty important, huh? Sorry for saying you looked perverted. No, it's fine. I was kind of having some perverted delusions. Were you? I shouldn't have apologized then. Hmm, but I suppose that's healthy for a cameraman. Is that an excuse? Like, that's, that's, that's healthy for everybody. That's for healthy for all the, the, the boys. Having delusions is part of the job. Good work. Wait, what? Delusions? That, that doesn't sound like a good thing. Ah ha ha, you sure about that? It's fine, perfectly fine. In a way, a model's relationship with her cameraman is deeper than her bond with her parents. Um... I don't know. After all, you'll be partners for a long time, basically betting your livelihoods on each other. Huh, interesting. The cameraman has to use his aesthetic sense, empathy, and communication skills to move the heart of his partner. And that can change the life of his partner, too. It also goes the other way. Oh, how? I'm sure you'll be influenced by your partner, too. It's important to be relaxed when you are planning, but you should always be thinking of the future. I always do. Always focus on your future and hers, got it? And hers? Oh no, it's too tough for me. Hmm, I see. Even though I'm still not gonna look at you, I see. Okay, now here's some free advice, so listen up. If you want to mold her to suit your taste, that's fine, but you've gotta pay attention to the client's request too, you know? Where's that? I don't- I, I couldn't find it. You can't just focus on taking good pictures. You need to consider what the client wants in order to get a good rating. Hmm, but I wasn't thinking about that at all last time, and I managed to take some good pictures. That's because that's what the client wanted. Huh. It won't be that easy during a real job, okay? If you say so, mysterious lady. If you're having trouble figuring out what the client wants, just pay attention to Sonico and decide that way. Hmm. So pay attention to, to, you know, the girl. Ah. Hmm, to Sonico. If you get a good enough rating, they might even let you go home with the costumes. Whoa! I can go home with the- wait. Why would they let just let me go home with the costumes? That sounds kind of, uh, very, um, uh, etchy. I don't know what he would do with those costumes. It won't be too late to motor in your image then. Anyway, do whatever you like. Bye, mysterious lady. What's that supposed to mean? This is when I finally realize. Again. Wait, this is the voice of the person who gave me advice the other day, which was just literally yesterday. That advice really helped me out. I quickly turn around. Oh, now you turn around, huh? Huh? Once again, there's nobody there. How? You're, you're, you're too slow. That, oh. Ugh. What was that? How spooky. I can feel the blood drain from my face. This office really might be haunted. I hear ghosts and things are drawn to electronics. I, I, don't, I don't think that's how that works. 
Recon Exorcist? Yes, just do it. Just then. The phone's ringing. Is it my mentor? No, it's Sonico. Oh, it's Kitamira. Dang, I was wrong. Hello? What? Oh, that, he didn't say anything. The next day. Ready? Um, my turn here, right? I'm walking down an unfamiliar street in nice warm weather. I glance at the map in my hand. Yeah, I'm heading in the right direction to who knows where. I've still got plenty of time, but I might as well step it up. I increase my pace to a light jog and... Whoa! Did you bump into, uh, Super Sonico? Yes, you did. I'm sorry, Sonico? I just ran into Sonico, quite literally. Wait, what do I do? What do I do? Help her up. She had her hand. Whew, that was close. Is that guitar? No, I don't want to grab the guitar. Her boobs? I don't want to grab her boobs. I'm not going to help her up. I quickly grabbed Sonico's arm. Whew, thank goodness. I made it. Good work, reflexes. <laughs> Although she didn't fall, she ends up sitting on the ground anyway. That's good. Whew. You okay? Aw, look at her. She looks so happy. I pick up her heavy-looking bag so that it's easier for her to stand. Oh, thank you. Oh my, what does that mean? I got hearts. What does that mean? Guys, what does that mean? I got hearts. Is that a good thing? It's nothing. I'm really sorry. Are you hurt? No, not at all. I'm sorry. I wasn't looking where I was going. Oh, we, bur we both weren't. No way. It was totally my fault. Oh, we go back and forth like this for some time. Sounds like a couple. And when we finally realize it, we both burst out laughing. <laughs> Their way to heaven. I played that song on the piano before. Ah ha ha. I guess we're both sorry, huh? Of course we are. I guess so. Let's leave it at that then. Oh. Oh! Okay, yeah! He smiles, embarrassed. Damn, she really is picturesque. Well, she is a motto after all. Well, starting, you know. And just like that, I'm in the mood to work. Yeah, it can't be mere coincidence that we ran into each other here. Right. Today, I was called to her agency. It's my first meeting since becoming her photographer. I wonder if we've got some work coming up. Hmm. Ah ha ha, if you say so. That's right, I've got to return her bag. Hey, this is... Um... A guitar case. It is a guitar case. Here you go. Uh, thank you very much. <laughs> a rocket launcher. This is a guitar case, right? Yeah! Oh my gosh, I'm getting so many hearts! Oh, so many hearts with Super Sonico! Or just Sonico. You play? Yeah! I'm in a band! It's called First Astronomical Velocity! That's a long name, but it's pretty cool. We talk while walking side by side. Yay! <gasps> Whoa, those are ginormous! The, uh, guitar. I see. Then were you at that concert because you knew the band or something? Oh, no, no. I'm not a groupie or anything. I just like to go to that club a lot. It's super fun. Uh-huh. Wait. Wait, hold on. So, didn't he ask the club owner if, if you know, he knew this girl, but apparently he said no, but she goes to that club a lot. Something's not right there. You like music or modeling more? Which you like better, music or modeling? Music or modeling, huh? Ooh, that's hard. I'm trying my best to 
All right. Was that the only option? Oh, we're here. <gasps> we're here. All right. So this is it. It's not exactly new, but the building does have a sense of freshness to it. It's on the fifth floor. The fifth floor. All right, let's go. Oh. What? What? Who's that? What? Uh, what? What is that? Uh, well, I'm going to actually end it here, everybody, because um, I don't know what that thing is, but we will find out in the next episode what this uh, thing is. And uh, if you guys enjoyed this episode of Stony Comey and getting hearts from her, then please slime that like button and subscribe down below for more awesome videos. Thank you, everybody, for watching this episode, and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye! Chest. Whoa! Rina's just snuggling up against her boobs. But yeah, apparently she's dead weight though.